Hello everybody and welcome to Your Programming Network's tutorial on PHP. Uh, PHP is a programming language that you use uh, on your websites in order to kind of use uh, server-side programming. So what that means is that when a user comes onto your website and they request a web page, uh, rather than just returning a HTML file kind of pictures and text, it's going to go to the server, the server is going to run some code and then that code is going to produce a file. So you've got a lot more power than on a normal website uh, because you can start adding a actual programming onto your page. Uh, and also you can add code onto your website that the user is not going to be able to see. So you can start referencing databases with passwords uh, and pulling out all kinds of code and doing validation and security. So PHP is really powerful. Uh, if you're going to be making websites properly, then it's something you really need to, to learn. Uh, so let's get started. The first thing you're going to need to do is set up a PHP uh, web server. Um, so I'm going to be using a uh, one that activates on my local uh, server uh, called uh, XAMPP. And what this does is it just creates a... A PHP server for you on your local drive and it's very simple to use so if you go to uh, Google like example just follow the link that I'll put in the description and then you'll come to the download page and then you just want to select the one that you're using so I'm using Windows so I download the Windows one uh, but if you're using Mac Linux uh, or Solaris then download them as appropriate so X out for Windows and then we're just going to scroll down to the bottom and we're going to download the appropriate version so I'm going to do the latest one 1.8.3 and just click on installer and then that's going to start downloading that installer down here um, I've already downloaded it so I'm just going to cancel that one and then open it up and click on yes and then it's going to come up with the installer. Uh, first thing it's going to do is come up with this warning message. And all this is doing is just telling you not to save it in program files times 86. Uh, so just make sure uh, when we click on next and then next again uh, that you don't select program files 86 in that folder. So this one, just don't select that. Uh, I would advise putting it in your documents and then uh, in a folder called XAMPP that you will need to make yourself. So just click on make new folder, put an XAMPP there. Uh, and then just click on next. Don't install these apps unless you want to. Uh, you can check them out. And then it's ready to install. So just click on next and it will start to install it. Uh, I'm going to cancel this one because I've already got it installed. And then you just need to open up the control panel so if we go down to our start menu control panel and then you should see the control panel looking like this uh, we can make it a bit bigger uh, and uh, the what we're going to want to do is just activate apache and mysql so just click start on both of these and if it's not letting you open it up then it's normally because this port 80 is already taken by a different program uh, and 99 times out of 100 that program is Skype uh, so if you've got Skype running just make sure you quit Skype completely and you haven't got Skype running at all um, so, and then try it again and then it should work if not then just look at what programs you've got open uh, and just make sure none of them uh, use port 80 and then once those both run in we're now ready to actually we're now hosting our web server but what we need to do if we can just minimize this uh, is we need to download a text editor to write our PHP in so I'm going to download notepad++ so just go to the notepad++ site download and then just click on download and then this is quite a small download, uh, only 7 meg. Uh, and so we'll just wait for that for two seconds. 
and then we're going to install in English and then it's just the standard setup so just choose what you want it uh, choose what you want and ignore them uh, and then just click install and then it's saying it's already been installed so that's fine and then finish and then it will run notepad for us um, we've got an update so just update selected and then any updates it's doing will do and then we can open it up so let's just show you through this so notepad plus plus is kind of a little bit just like normal notepad uh, except what it allows you to do is just select your programming language and we'll select PHP and then now whenever we write any of our code uh, it's going to highlight it for us in a certain color uh, so for example here's a look quick PHP file that we'll create in the next tutorial and you notice that some of the code is highlighted red some blue and some gray and I'll come on and explain what the different colors mean uh, but make sure you've got notepad installed as well and then that is everything you need in order to get started so the next tutorial will test your setup uh, as, in, as it is working all correctly uh, and I'll show you the, how to create your first program so thanks for listening and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial